In the fertile fields of South Dos Palos, a small cloud of dust follows a tractor working the land near the Merced and Fresno County line. The soil here must be prepared in such a way that water can flood the fields without any high or low spots. While all this is happening, the roar of a distant plane gets closer and closer, until just at the right moment, it happens. The time and the technology has changed, but for three generations now, this is how the Coda family has planted their famous brand of heirloom rice. I mean, I don't know if it chose us or we chose it. I mean, it's hard, I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to say. California is one of the nation's leading producers of rice. It's a multi-billion dollar industry that started back in 1912, about the same time that Ross Coda's grandfather failed his way into what would become one of the oldest Japanese family-owned rice farms in the state. Well, he had this saying that, or that he passed down to my father, that you have to fail three times before you, you can become a success. An immigrant from Fukushima, Japan, Kisaburo Koda arrived in California in 1908. After failing in the oil fields of Kolinga, he tried his luck in the laundry shop business, then in the vegetable canning industry. Then, after failing three times, Quesaburo's fourth and most profitable business venture led him to rice. He just had this drive that he wanted to realize the American dream. An innovator at heart, Quesaburo developed or improved on early California rice farming practices and was one of the first to plant rice seed by plane. He actually uh, had his own planes to do that. Before long, Coda Farms was profitable even built its own rice processing plant to dry the rice on site. Life was good until World War II hit. The entire family had to <clears throat> move to Colorado. In reaction to the attack on Pearl Harbor, President Roosevelt ordered people of Japanese descent to go to internment camps. The Coda family spent three years incarcerated in a camp in Colorado and were forced to entrust their land and farming equipment to strangers at home who ultimately sold most of it off. Pre-war, I, I told you, it was farming around 10,000 acres, and uh, after they got back, there was about 1,000 acres left. Instead of giving up, the Coda family started over. In the process, the family commissioned a plant breeder to develop a special strain of rice just for them. It would ultimately be named Cocoho Rose. It's, just, it's a subtle kind of uh, floral flavor and it has a slightly sweet afternote. Quesaburo would pass the business on to his sons, Edward and William, so he could focus his energy on improving the welfare of Japanese Americans. He launched the People's Rights Protection Association, which ultimately helped end the alien land law. Then, in the 1950s, Quesaburo became a naturalized citizen and established a program that brought Japanese people to the United States so they could study California agriculture. One of my grandfather's uh, passions was uh, always improving and cultivating the relationships between Japan and the USA because he always thought there was more. Rice. It's California's official state grain because for more than a hundred years it's been feeding the nation and for more than a hundred years it's helped the Coda family realize their American dream. You know, I think that's what makes rice so special and that's why also I think it's important uh, for California. From the rice fields of South Dos Palos, I'm John Bartell.